Hey guys, what's up? Brendan Lee here. Welcome back to Changshin Dojo TV. In this episode, I got a request from somebody I know in California. He wanted to know about my previous video, how to hit harder, and could I talk more about punching and structure and alignment while punching to increase your punching power, um, and or just alignment in general to increase power, say you're doing martial arts, or this applies to anything you're gonna do with your body. So in this episode, we're gonna learn some of the finer points about keeping good structure and alignment and how to move your body from the center. Check it out. Hey guys, what's up? Brendan Lee here, back with Changshin Dojo TV. Um, I just got a request from a friend of mine in California uh, regarding uh, what to do, like when you're punching. So I mentioned in, in one of my other videos, like how to hit harder, <laughs> stuff about the knees. <clears throat> and don't let your knees wander when you're punching. Don't let your knees point somewhere other than your toe. There's a, in Changshin, we do some stuff called body being. Um, and there's, uh, as far as I can tell, two main aspects to body being. One is um, structural, so purely physical aspects. Structural alignment, alignment of the physical aspect that is the body relating to the ground <clears throat> and there's a whole study in there and, and then there's this other aspect this other avenue of study uh, which is basically like the mind or something so body and mind structure and then what you do with your mind and your feeling states different states of mind that help create and generate more power um, that's that I can do like a whole nother video on that. Like certain states of mind can make a huge difference in the way that you structure and move your body. So don't worry about that right now. We can do that later. What I want to talk to you about is basically the structure. The my friend he asked me, he's like, Well, can you say more about using the center and your legs and the ground when it comes to hitting or hitting hard? Um, and I alluded in my last video, these are for this is for people that don't really understand the power of using the center and the ground. Uh, so you can get better understanding. So basically, first thing, don't let your knees point anywhere other than your toes. Why? Well, the knee is a hinge joint and is designed a certain way. It works, it works best as a hinge. It does not work well when you go these directions. And sometimes, very often, I have seen people or boxers, people that are learning MMA, they're, they're being taught how to punch. When they punch, don't watch my fists, watch my knees. The structure of your body from here down is extremely important when it comes to power. <clears throat> Much like if you have a table and you build a table with legs that are sideways, you're not going to want to jump on the table. Why? You know this because it's weak. The whole foundation is weak. The same thing with the body. You can increase its power by making sure everything from the pelvis down to the feet is in alignment with gravity, AKA you don't punch and swing your knee this way. This, this means some of your force is actually leaving your knee this direction. It's not going down into the ground where the power is. It's leaving the knee some this way and you're having to use a lot of muscles to compensate. So it's best to when you punch, bam, leave your knees pointed with your toes. Okay? <clears throat> and this takes training. Also, another quickie. Press your knees down into the heels. Make sure your leg is all one piece down into the ground and it's not, your knee isn't moving somewhere like this way, which you can probably see, it's headed towards the floor. It's not, excuse me, it's headed towards the floor where my foot is not standing. It's not headed towards the floor where my foot is standing. It's going somewhere else and the same thing. I'm gonna have to use a lot of muscle to make sure that I keep myself from falling over, you understand? Okay, so that's two basics. Point your knees with your toes, press your knees in your heels. This is Changshin body being basics. Power lifters will tell you the same thing. Point your knees with your toes because they know if you lift, you're lifting 500 plus pounds on your legs and you don't do that, you're gonna tear something. And so that's for dealing with lots of power. There are certain people that they just kind of know this because they deal with power. Anybody that deals with lots of power with the legs is gonna know that or at least you should hear about it. And if not, you probably broke your knee somewhere in the, along the way. I hope not, it's not good. Um, okay, so that's knees and point your knees with your toes, press your knees in your heels. And then um, there are several other postural points I don't wanna get into right now. So the, the main thing, so it's like you wanna learn how to hit harder. 
Practice moving your whole body from your center, that's your pelvis, and keeping everything in alignment from the pelvis down, that should increase your power dramatically right away. Okay? So now, about moving from the center, the same, well, it's not the same, but you're going to move from here. When you're going to punch, punch from here and stay connected to the ground when you do it. How do you punch from here? Well, it's really good to, to practice, you know, figure out in your body mind, not your like thinking mind, but your feeling mind when you're where you whole, feel your whole body, feel this put part of your body this is for punching, punching, okay? Also helps you to get in your body to feel this part of your body and will increase your ability in pretty much any physical activity. If you do it from here and you put your mind here, feel that and then move that first. So when you punch, if you want to hit harder, move from here first, not from up here. You see how that's like up? Move from down here first. Here is where the power is. And here. Practice that by staying connected to the ground. Leave your body alone. Uh, leave your, like say, upper body alone. And then move from your center. Move from your center. And then practice moving from your center and keeping your knee pointing with your toe. Because very often you're going to go like this. Or it's going to swing through space. And thus you will compromise your ability to have power because you are compromising your structure and your foundation like if you knock the legs out of a chair or if you weaken the foundation of a house you get what i'm saying the body is like that it is a structure it's like a physical structure and if the foundation is off your power will be off thank you very much for watching this has been another episode of changing dojo tv it's a dojo because we're in a dojo it's where i live Thank you.